Hey everyone, it's me with ADHD. Okay, so I'm now one week into both my therapy and my treatment with the Adderall. And I have to say so far, it's been pretty mixed reviews. If you saw my first day on Adderall video, then you know that my first day was a great success. I felt amazing. I felt alert all day. I wasn't distracted and I could focus and retain conversations. What? Yeah. Now has that maintained over a week? Well, the short answer here is no. Not really. But that's because every day has been different. And I might add here that I stopped drinking my usual four to five cups of coffee a day during this last week. So part of the mixed reviews is because of the withdrawal that I had from the caffeine, which sucked by the way. Love coffee. The reason why I quit coffee is because both drugs are actually a stimulant. Your ADHD meds are a controlled substance with a prescribed dosage set for just you. Coffee, on the other hand, is an uncontrolled substance and it increases your stimulation far further than your prescribed dosage of Adderall or whatever drug you're on is supposed to do. Taking your stimulation from here to here. This unfortunately has bad side effects. It can increase your heart rate, your blood pressure, give you insomnia. It also affects your nerves, effectively increasing the chances of you having panic attacks. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I've had enough of those in the past to know that I do not want them regularly. So anyway, day two on medication was not a good one. The lack of coffee gave me headaches all day long and I was exhausted from no caffeine too. I could barely focus at all. I did feel the Adderall at times though. I felt, weirdly enough, unable to daydream. I just felt completely grounded, even though my focus wasn't even there, which is such a bizarre feeling. Day two was not a good day. Day three was much better though. I felt fresh now that the coffee was out of my system and I felt overall alert and ready to go. I finished a whole bunch of work that day. I didn't even feel the need to procrastinate like at all. I was just fully focused. Now it's worth noting one thing that's really important here. While the medication helps to keep me focused and stops things distracting me from the tasks that I'm trying to do, it's actually the weekly therapy sessions that have helped me channel all that focus in the right direction. Helping me to stay organized, break my work into smaller chunks and keep track of everything that's going on in my life. Which honestly is way more important than the medication itself. Truly it is. So moving on to the weekend, I was told that I can take a break from the meds over the weekend. And at first I thought, uh, why would I want to do that? Well, I found out this weekend. So Saturday I had planned to paint the exterior of my house. This is a pretty big task and I wanted to get it all done in just one day. So of course, Adderall to the rescue. Wrong. It turned out it was too hot a temperature for me to actually paint the house. This meant that I had absolutely nothing to do anymore, but I'd already taken my Adderall. So basically, I'm sat there and I have no idea what to do with myself because I can't relax because it feels way too unproductive to actually just sit there and do nothing. But I have no other tasks to place all of this mad crazy focus on. My head felt like it was just gonna explode. So I guess if you're like me and you actually like to relax most weekends, you might want to consider taking a break from your Adderall. But this is obviously a double-edged sword because consistency with medication is key. So taking it seven days a week is more likely to keep you stable than it is to do it five days a week and then just miss two days. So this week actually evened out pretty nicely. Now that I don't have that problem causer, the coffee to worry about, I actually feel pretty great. If anything, I feel like the dose I'm on is actually pretty weak. So after a discussion with my doctor, because that's really important, you have to discuss this with your doctor when you're actually gonna do anything with your treatment, we're actually gonna be increasing my dosage for the rest of this month. So I'm gonna let you know exactly how that goes. Anyway guys, that's the end of my week update. The next one will be a month one. So we have day one, week one, month one. I also wanna add one more thing. Please remember that this is just my experience with my treatment. I like to be real with you guys and keep it all honest and just keep you guys informed of my journey through both of my treatments, not just the medication, but the therapy sessions weekly too, because it's in the hopes that maybe you can relate to it. Or maybe if you think you have ADHD, then you'll see the positive effects that both of these treatments are having on my life and be inspired to do something about it yourself. So if you guys have any similar stories, please share them in the comments below because I would really love to know about them. Also, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, stay up to date with all my new content, and I'll see you guys in the next one.